Market participants reporting over-the-counter OTC derivatives to trade repositories TRs, around the world will be able to create a unique product identifier, or UPI, live from July 2022. Specific reporting requirements and timelines will depend on the jurisdictions where your firm does business. The Derivative Service Bureau will issue UPI codes and maintain a reference data library that stores the data associated with each code. Market practitioners and regulators shape the DSB's product definitions and workflows. Users will be able to upload a set of product attributes to obtain a new UPI code or receive an existing UPI code. Users can access the DSB programmatically or online to create and search for records, as well as get OTC derivative reference data from the DSB's free-to-use files. Institutions can either get the UPI on a standalone basis or as part of a comprehensive dataset containing the mapping between the CFI, UPI, OTC, ISIN and FISIN. This approach enables global institutions with multiple regulatory reporting needs to access streamlined workflows, while firms can also retrieve these independently of the more comprehensive data record, as each code serves a distinct purpose. Reporting parties needing a UPI can come directly to the DSB or indirectly from their counterparty for a given trade, their trade execution platform, data vendor, and more. Requested information is returned to the user and enters their internal systems. Users can then report the UPI in their OTC derivatives trade reporting to TRs. The UPI will join the existing suite of international standards to aid global regulatory authorities' aggregate data on OTC derivatives transactions to help assess systemic risk, alongside the OTC, ISIN, CFI and FISIN. The UPI will work alongside Critical Data Elements, CDE, which are also reportable. To find out more, visit our website, subscribe to DSB Updates or email us.